documents and images in the server file system. This tutorial applies to PSP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. When storing images or documents on the server's hard drive, also known as the file system, we store information about the uploaded file, like file name, location, size, etc. in the database field. The database field must be able to store long text strings or many characters. In MySQL, a data type medium text will be sufficient. Here I created a field called images underscore fs and file underscore fs, both with data type medium text. The underscore fs is just a reminder that the images and files will be stored in the file system. I also have a field called gallery with the data type medium text that will reference multiple images. I now create a new project. Connect to the database and select the file. I click next twice until I get to the choose pages screen and select list, edit, add, delete and view pages. Going straight to the page designer, select the field images underscore fs and click on view as, edit as. Click on edit as and select file image. The upload folder is the name of the folder you would upload or store the files into. This folder will be automatically created by the software should it not exist. You may also rename it to something else. Delete file when an associated record is deleted will delete the image or the file when the record gets deleted. If you have this unticked, the image will remain in the upload folder when the record is removed. I am going to tick this option as I do not need to keep images when the record is deleted. I'm going to tick basic upload control only to demonstrate the difference when you have it ticked and when not. Also note that when you select this option you can only upload one file for this field and the maximum number of files to store becomes unavailable. Now click on Advanced Settings. Tick Create Thumbnails on the fly if you would like the software to create thumbnails from the image. Thumbnails are being stored in the same upload folder. Set the thumbnail size according to your needs. You also have the option to resize the image after upload but I will leave it unchecked to keep the image at the original size. Finally, at the Allow File Types field, specify the image types you would allow to be uploaded. Be sure to separate them with commas. You may also leave this blank. Click OK. Now click on View As. There is a close relationship between display multiple images and show thumbnails. Show thumbnails only takes effect when vertically or horizontally is selected. This particular field is only going to show one image, so I will leave it on horizontally so I can benefit from having a thumbnail on the list page. The Lightbox Gallery on Image Click is a very nice image display option, but since there will be more images for each record, I will select images from this field only. I also choose not to have images captions display on this image. I'm going to leave the rest as is and click OK. Next, select the field file underscore fs and click on view as, edit as. Click on edit as and select file image. You may change the upload folder for documents 
should you like to keep images and documents in separate folders? But it is also no problem to keep them all into the same folder. Everything else here is very similar to the settings demonstrated with the image a few moments ago. I will also delete the document when a record is deleted, but this time I will leave basic upload control unticked and will set the maximum number of files to store to one. Feel free to store multiple documents in this field as it will be no problem whatsoever. Click on Advanced Settings to set the file size and document types if required. Click OK and then click on View As. Select File. Uncheck Show Thumbnails as this applies to images only. I do want to see the file size. I will leave the rest as is and click OK. Last but not least, we will do a gallery for each record. I will allow up to 6 images into this gallery. So having the field on this list page will increase the row height significantly. So it is best to remove it from the list page. Be sure you are on the list page. Select the gallery field and click remove. Now go to the edit page. We know the gallery will take up some space, so I split the cell and move the gallery field to the new cell. You can repeat the steps for the add and view pages or select edit page properties. and copy the layout to the add page. Repeat for the view page. The layout for add, edit and view pages are now similar. Select the gallery field and click on view as, edit as. Click on edit as, select file image, we have seen this page several times already. I will keep the upload folder the same, delete the gallery when the record gets deleted and allow up to 6 files to be uploaded. At advanced settings, I will not need any thumbnails and will allow JPEG and PNG image type files. Click OK. Click on View As and select Image. The image area dimension or the space the gallery will occupy is the reason for me moving it to the Add and Edit and View Pages only. I will keep the masonry setting and as a result will not have any thumbnails. We can upload 6 images to this field but will preview only 5. There are other images in this record too, so I select images for this field only. I don't want to see captions, so I select no captions. And I will leave the rest as it is and click OK. It is also a good idea to rename the field labels while we are here in the page designer. I now uploaded the project, so let's see how it functions. Please note the two empty fields. The gallery on the view page is also empty. Let's edit the record. Please note the difference between the basic upload control and the more advanced upload control. I now select the photographer photo. Note the file types as defined in the project.
and now his PDF document. Again, a note at the file types. For his gallery, I will select six photos and upload them all in one go. Click Save. 